So I am extremely, extremely happy and proud to introduce the next section, uh, the AIM North America Awards. So since its inception, you know, right in 2011, AIM North America has strived annually to award pioneers and contributors in the field of AIDC for their valuable contributions towards the industry, towards the overall growth of the industry, pioneering technologies that has brought forth a lot of innovation. But uh, before I hand it over to Jeannie, who would be presenting the AIT in Government Award and the Professional of the Year Award, a big round of thank you to all the nominations that have come and received. Thank you guys for nominating. It was really difficult uh, choice and all of them were so accomplished and esteemed in their own avenue. So thank you once again for bringing forward these names. Jeannie, may I request you to please take over here? Sure, excellent. So uh, thank you, Debs. So, um, so the first award that we're gonna pass out today is AIT and government. And, and I remember the first time that I had the chance and opportunity to meet with uh, Frank Giannis. It was when he was still with Walmart and in charge of food safety at Walmart. Frank is a very humble, very genuine, and a very, very passionate and tireless supporter of food safety in the United States, and also now in his role as FDA in globally. He um, has had a very distinguished career uh, in academics. He's a writer, he's published books, and now he's doing public policy and taking over the Office of Food Response. Um, he's a very avid learner, and as I mentioned, he, he's a very humble, humble, humble uh, individual. And he really listened to the AIDC community and to AIM when we reached out and, and uh, talked with him about his first, when he first introduced a new era of smarter food safety. Uh, the FDA has been very good in contacting AIM for input for different parts of the new proposed rule on food traceability and they've been very good to work with. So Frank Giannis, in case you're um, not aware, he is a deputy commissioner for food policy and response. He started that position in 2018. He's the principal advisor to the FDA commissioner, Stephen Hahn, and the development and execution of policies related to food safety, including the implementation of the Food Safety Modernization Act. And one of the things that I, I enjoy so much about Frank is that uh, as he talks about FSMA, he talks about the role of the FDA as one of an educator as well as a regulator. So he's really looking that this takes a village in food safety and that we're gonna go there and get there together, us as AIDC professionals, the industry, as well as regulations. He is also our chief ambassador and based upon the recommendations he received from the new era of smarter food safety, he is reaching out globally to governments around the world to start talking about harmonization of food traceability. So he is a renowned expert, both in the private industry, first at Disney, then at Walmart, and now at the FDA. And it is very happy that AIM North America presents him the AIT and Government Award. This one, I cannot tell you how humbled, and this person will be able to speak here in a second, and we're interested in what he has to say, but I cannot tell you how humbled I was when I was asked to present this award. So uh, Sprague Ackley is currently the principal R&D engineer at Digimark, where he's leading the advanced automation identification research and collaboration with industry organizations for Digimark uh, and also with their strategic partners. And I cannot think of a better person for Digimark than Sprague Athlete. Digimark, in case you're not aware of who Digimark is, they are a pioneer in automatic identification of everyday objects, including packagings, print, images, and audio. And they've been leading that industry for over 10 years. But Sprague himself is an AIDC expert. I've known Sprague, I don't actually know how long I've known Sprague. I've known him probably for at least a decade. But I'll never forget the first time that I actually um, 
actually uh, interacted with Sprague was at an SC31 meeting. Uh, one of the things that Sprague has been very active in is ISO and the support of standardization and inter-industry collaboration. But he really struck me as a very humble type of a person. Sprague is probably the most knowledgeable scientist and engineer that I have ever met. And he is very impressive. He has over 150 patents, and he doesn't talk about that much when you, when you talk to him in barcode RFID tracking technologies. But in, in addition to that, Sprague is also a very humble individual. He's very knowledgeable. He's a very hard worker in the ISO group. But he's also a very humble in, individual who listens to you intently when you ask him a question and takes his time to explain it fully. Craig has a very passionate for mentoring people, and he is trying to raise people up both within the organization he works in, as well as the greater organization. So I am very pleased on the behalf of AIM North America to present Sprague Ackley, the 2020 Professional of the Year Award. Congratulations, Sprague. <laughs> Sprague, can we hear from you? <laughs> well, I have to say this is a complete and total uh, surprise. I am, uh, I am incredibly honored. Uh, I, 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 I guess for those of you who know me, I'm rarely uh, speechless. Uh, <laughs> this would be a moment. Uh, well, I have to say um, that uh, I have been in the industry a long time. And I, I see many of you on the call, uh, I've also known for decades. Um, and I am now very uh, honored to be part of the Digimark Corporation, uh, where it is just such an amazing technology with so many incredibly smart people uh, working here. Um, I can't tell you how much fun it is and how, uh, it, how excited we are for uh, for some of the applications that uh, Digimark can uh, support in the future. And I have to say uh, thank you very much to uh, Jeannie and the, the, uh, the AIM North America board. Uh, I am uh, just completely surprised and honored and uh, I am looking forward to uh, uh, hoping to make more contributions uh, into the future. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congrats. Congrats, Congrats Sprague. <laughs> Thanks, Joel. You, you're, 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 never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Joel, I, I for no getting uh, Sprague this. here today. No idea whatsoever, I have to admit. So I'm, I'm really uh, thrilled and honored. Thank, thank you very much, you guys. So Sprague, I live in Portland. So you owe me a drink then. We need to celebrate. You absolutely, you got a deal, Deb. That would be great. Yes. Okay. Yes. We can, uh, we can, you know, we can, you know, sip under our masks and uh, get together. Yeah, I am totally for it. I've been telling Joe, like, we have to just meet somewhere and sip under the mask and that's how it's going to be. I think that's a great idea. I'll, I'll uh, start following up on that. I would love <laughs> So what I, I, what I want to know is who's bringing the joint to this meeting? <laughs> <laughs> it is Oregon after all yes it is it is Oregon uh but uh we'll, we'll leave that up to maybe uh what, what whatever people want to do them for themselves <laughs> maybe well, I asked, we will the lack during our happy hour uh, I asked Mary Lou if these joint meetings were, were going to be uh, as celebratory as Oregon uh, would like us to have it. <laughs> Probably not. I just want to say, George, you you stole my joke from my presentation. Oh yeah, yeah. Our chair's on the phone. Our chair's on the phone. So my does apologies. anybody else anybody else would like to offer a spray congratulations since we don't have this opportunity to be in person before we move on? Uh yes, yeah, Sprague. This has been uh, definitely congratulations and to the rest of the group, uh I want to add to Jeannie's comments that not only is Sprague everything that they mentioned, but he's also very giving 
in his uh, advice and help. And he's helped me for what's mm-hmm. been 15 years, 16 years uh, in a lot of my research and, and provided great advice. And so well earned, sir. Thank you very much, Kevin. Yeah, no, Kevin, uh, he'll flip me these questions like at eight o'clock Friday night, you know, about some minutia uh, inconsistency <laughs> in the data that he's seeing. And it's it's uh, great fun. It's uh, always great fun to work with uh, Kevin and at the frontiers of uh, AIDC. Thank you very much. Kevin. Well, I remember when Roger Palmer introduced you to me. It was about 1985. Oh. And we worked together on so many things. And you are just such a wonderful collaborator to work with, as well as one of the smartest guys on the planet. And it's been fun, and I hope it continues to be. Thank you, Clive. Yeah, well, Clive has been a phenomenal mentor to me over my entire career. And, uh, boy, we've, we've certainly uh, worked a lot in the standards world together. And uh, thank you very much. Thanks, Clive. Right. I would hate to break into this, but let's keep this going. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. That that's is good. A happy hour. Thank I would you invite very everyone much, to join everybody. us. Really wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Next slide, please. Uh, I think I'll take over that. Uh, the organization of the year uh, award. So established in 2013, this award is actually presented to an organization in recognition of the outstanding contribution and service that they have done to further growth of the industry. So as a respected and responsible leader in automatic identification and the data capture industry, so summarize the award. This year we had quite a few nominations and for the first time over the past decade, we actually have a tie this year. So it was a very difficult choice. We had to go back and forth. We could not really select between the two recipients this year. And I am very, very proud to give this uh, award to uh, these both these uh, companies. I would first like to introduce Everledger, who has been a pioneer in creating solutions and harnessing the benefits of blockchain in tandem with other technologies. So I remember Everledger's first presentation a couple of years back where they spoke about uh, traceability of diamond and the ethical work that they do around diamond mining from tracking where it was sourced till the end point. And the work was fantastic. Uh, they have created permanent digital records of uh, the diamond's uh, origin, how it moved through it, and I think the case study was fantastic and the amount of work that they did overall to enable that industry overall is fantastic. Uh, for all their of their valuable contributions, they were also nominated in 2018 by the World Economic Forum as their technology partners. And this is a fantastic achievement. So I am very, very proud to give this award to Everledger. Yay! May I invite Scott to accept the award and say a few things? Thanks, Dev. That, that's a, a big one to live up to. Um, but uh, certainly, it, it's been a great year with AIM. We've thoroughly enjoyed the engagement. Um, I think from the perspective, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Mike and Mary Lou uh, for the work that we've done on the IoT committee and the rest of the committee members for, uh, for tolerating me. Um, but also I think we've, we've achieved something and that is to move the agenda a little bit to how IoT can support some of the, the world's most important issues at the moment around sustainability, um, including circularity, whether that's in the world of um, human rights for apparel or for, for diamonds or gemstones, jewelry, or for minerals and metals such as lithium and cobalt, whether that's for greenhouse gas emissions tracing and life cycle assessment of uh, environmental effect of, of objects, then certainly uh, automatic data capture has a role to play in that yes. environment. And uh, we're, just, we're just proud to be um, part of AIM. We're proud to be um, in a, a leadership position from the technology, which does require a huge collaborative front 
And um, from that perspective, we're excited to leverage blockchain, um, machine vision, and a whole range of technologies uh, on top of that blockchain platform to support um, a greater trust and transparency in our supply chains. So uh, certainly, thank you very much to AIM. It's, it's, it's a great pleasure to accept this award on behalf of Everledger. Appreciate it. Congratulations once again, Scott. Thank you. For the next award, I would like to invite Guy, Guy Mickle. Thank you very much. Again, my name is Guy Michael I'm with Color Label Solutions. I'm pleased to announce the co-winner of AIM's Organization of the Year, Epson, represented today by Victor Gomez, Director of Industrial Labels. Now, my primary reason for nominating Epson has been their success in on-demand color labeling business. They've enabled companies to move from monochrome-only text and barcodes to labels with colors and images. The relatively new technology, now, and they've had six generations of barcode printers, is opening up many new applications from companies as diverse as chemical manufacturers to cannabis producers. On-demand color labeling is changing our business and in large parts due to the efforts of Epson. So Victor, thank you very much. Thank you, Guy. And first of all, congratulations to Ever Ledger, who was our co-winner. Uh, Epson is honored to be nominated by Guy, an important Epson partner and a respected voice in the industry. And of course, we're equally thrilled to receive this recognition from AIM North America. And like you say, on-demand color is changing the way companies produce labels. And Epson is at the forefront of this evolution. We're working alongside partners like yourselves to help companies stream like workflows, reduce inventories, eliminate waste, and decrease production costs with uh, smart on-demand color label solutions. So on behalf of Epson, thank you very much. And thank you in North America. Congratulations, Victor.